So I've dealt with somebody who I view very similarly to Alpha Investment. I absolutely knew that the MetaZoo videos would be deleted silently one night. Uh, it looks like two different nights according to Social Blade. If you don't believe me, you can go on Social Blade. There are two periods in time where his videos drastically drop. I think one was 200,000 views. The other one was 300,000 views, which actually corresponds to the MetaZoo videos because there are 50, 60, 70 more of them. I only screenshot, this was from three months ago. I had to dig a little bit deeper because I do remember I had screenshotted all his videos and talking about how positive it was. So even three months ago before MetaZoo bankrupt, I knew that this game would be very detrimental to his reputation and that's why I started covering it every single day because I knew eventually evidence would be forgotten. And you might be like, how do I know this? Well, I covered the mana source. I've covered Tolarian Community College and the monthly magic box, which has since also been privated and deleted. I covered a Puka Trade. Many of you have no idea what Puka Trade is. That's another product Tolarian Community College, good buddy mana source and friends covered. There are a ton. Oh, oh, vintage. I, I like Daniel more than most, but he did do something that was like, what was it? It was like partial ownership of a Black Lotus, something. Mythic Markets. Yes, that one also went belly under and I covered that. So for me, I take great pride in what I do. Um, I don't get paid a lot of money. It's enough for like a Wendy's a day. But it's not a ton of money, but I can tell you that it does bring me great pride and it is a very fun hobby of mine. And it's a, it's a hobby that doesn't cost money. This is, you know, <laughs> it's a free hobby. So I knew these videos would be deleted as soon as I saw the Mike Waddell video. The Mike Waddell video, as you can see, is one hour long. Fear and Risk, two years ago, MetaZoo Mike Waddell. Uh, and then you have the Nightfall video. So I actually was looking at the Nightfall video. When I saw what the hell these two guys were talking about, like it clearly was a scam. And that's why that video had to be taken down because some of the shit they were talking about is just... In, in fact, they had a second video talking about how we need to make a reserve list. We don't have any players. <laughs> but what we need is a reserve list. <laughs> can, can you imagine... Uh, could you could you even imagine, right? I mean, even Pokemon doesn't have a reserve list. They reprint base charge on all the time, and it's a very pretty card. Pokemon doesn't... Oh, here's a video, right? Uh, almost 40 minutes. So they had one video, and then they had another video. Um, I don't know if they have more videos. I assume they made the most of the day. But reserved list. Wow. Wow. I mean, just read, just read the, I'm so happy I have this. Read the titles of these videos. MetaZoo announces 10,000 plus reward for gold. None of these videos exist, by the way. If you go on his channel, you click the search button, you type in MetaZoo, you're not going to see any of these videos. Um, he's always done box openings. Whenever a Patreon pays him money, he does box openings. Pre-order is such a bad word for MetaZoo because they still haven't, delivered any of their pre-orders right so i mean metazoo skyrockets he says well where's the video of metazoo collapsing rudy oh that one's still up that one is still up but uh oh i forgot the whole tops chrome product and stuff where he compared it to magic 30th good times um at the end of the day there's a reason he deleted these videos, and there's no historical reference. Even against the mana source of Tolarian Community College, no one remembers that, like what he was promoting, the Pico Trade. No one remembers the Pico Trade fiasco, guys, because there's no record. I mean, I had, to, I had, I learned very early on that I need to keep a better record. Even uh, Erin Campbell, who was the queen of cancellation, in fact, that's what she called herself. Erin uh, Campbell was a trans individual from male to female and she used her power and she was very powerful she was on magic mics with erwin evan erwin and she would just cancel people in fact she seriously said that uh she would write cancellation letters letters for people and it turned out 
that even though she preached love, happiness, unicorn, and rainbows, she was a very racist person, even till today. And she's been totally gone from... And then again, no one looks at Aaron Campbell, Autumn, Autumn Bruccelli, Teresa Nielsen. These are topics that I think are very important in the magic community, but there is no one talking about these topics because everyone forgot. Everyone forgot. They moved on to the next big shiny little scam and... Uh, it is what it is, right? Um, I didn't forget. I'll be here longer than Rudy. Like, you you guys don't understand. I've been here longer than Tolarian Community College, Manasaurus, um, any of them. And I'll be here after. Because I actually give a shit about Magic the Gathering. I actually give a shit about card games and finances. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like I said before, it, I, I'm too, like, burdened to quit. I have too many heavy bags to just give up. Now, if... One day, the heavy bags is like, you know, somebody give me a, a good deal. Yeah, I would get, I would cancel my YouTube channel. I wouldn't make any more videos, but I'm so vested into it already. Years and years, you know, I play, I'm not one of these new players like Autumn Buccelli. I've been playing since beta. And it was a very different play group at the time. We would make funny jokes and, you know, these funny jokes that we would make, man, they just get canceled nowadays, right? Just cancel, cancel, cancel. But anyway, back to the Rudy Chan thing. Oh, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Um, he made a shit ton of videos about Native. I think Native was the last set, if I'm correct. And I didn't include those videos about Native, only like a few of them. Because this was three weeks ago, or three months ago. He, he's been pumping. That's why this channel is important, in my opinion. Because there are people who pump things. And they dump things, they delete those videos, and they move on. They pretend they're a new channel. Uh, as they go on to pump and dump something else. And they're like, oh, well, guys, this will 100% work because nothing I said has been wrong in the past. Because anything I've been wrong, even sports betting. You post five different parlays, you win one of them, you delete the other four. Seems like you are a sports guru genius. I saw this time and time again from a guy called Anthony Farrar. He would post random stuff. Like, let's say like it's Lakers versus Knicks. One post would be, oh, Lakers got, got this. The next post would be Knicks got this. Well, if the Lakers win, the post that Knicks got this will be deleted. I mean, and then now you seem like you, you are an amazing sports better. And this works well because when a new person comes to your page, all they see are wins. They might not even know that you delete stuff. Because all they see is wins and they'll pay you money to educate them in the uh, the game mechanics of sports betting, which again, it, the sports, the house always has the edge. I don't really think there's a way to manipulate sports betting, but there's probably 50,000 people who want you to believe they actually have a system. Crypto zoo to the moon, baby.